my dear students uh, how is everything going on it's me your english teacher md chad ali i hope you are you all are getting on well however uh, as we are staying in our home and not being able to join the direct classes i'm here to present uh, the course contents before you well today um, uh, i'm going to discuss with the topic name named uh, communication skills here i will introduce first of all about the model question model question means uh, the questions that might be said in the exam here is the model question and the question will be just like this okay <clears throat> see first of all uh, i told you that in the beginning in question number 1 <clears throat> sorry uh just like before you will have a passage and reading that passage very carefully you will write a dialogue within the 30 minutes and as much as you can write i will have no question but you have to remember remember that uh, you must write at least 10 pages and each page will contain uh each page will contain at least 14 lines 14 relevant lines however in question number 2 a letter will be set from unknown topic like this that topic will be very easy i told you and and in question number b of 2 uh another question will be set from paragraph or short composition based on some unknown topic that will be very easy too however in question number 3 media the questions will be set from media here you see what do you understand by media and what are the advantages and disadvantages of different kind of media okay i will discuss about this uh, question media in another video <clears throat> okay mm. now we shall discuss about the question number 4 uh, okay today these are the communicative skills points Uh, that means the points of communication skills okay the questions uh, will be set uh, like this mm. now uh, i will introduce this question okay i'm jumping to the full screen this is called the effective communicative skills means in communication you have you have to be very skillful and for that reason there are some points those are uh, which are very effective so we are going to learn about the effective skills in communication sorry for this pop up well first of all you have to know what the communication is that means the definition of communication communication means in my word first of all let me introduce this topic to you in my word communication means you know uh, exchanging thoughts views or emotions to each other means uh, to one person to other person to one media to other media or to uh, one thing to other thing so communication means giving or taking information 
means exchanging information, thoughts, views or emotion. Okay, that's about the communication and which uh, what is written here you must write in your own way but I gave my idea. Communication means giving or taking information in a in a sentence. Okay. The key elements in communication, you know, in communication uh, there are some points. When we start our discussion in our classroom, suppose we are in a classroom and you are the listeners, I am the speaker and in between you and me there is a message. What is the message? This is our message, that communication skills. The message is communication. So there are three elements in making any communication. You, uh, your audience and in between two there is a message. It means I, you and in between us there is a message. So to write the answer of this question you have to just explain very shortly about you, hmm, your audience, Okay, and in between two there is a message. In this way you can just start writing the answer. Just to get two marks. Okay, so you means the speaker, your audience means the listeners and in between two there is a message. Means, you know what the uh, meaning of message is. Means the subject matter. Mm. Next topic is uh, tools of communications. You know, we need some tools to do anything. To do anything what we need is called the tools. So, in communication uh, we can keep learning or teaching in four ways. They are the listening, speaking, reading or writing means in, in these four ways, in these four basic skills we can just keep our communication on means uh, we can keep listening and listening and listening to understand any lecture, to understand any topic and we can keep reading and reading to know more, to understand more and we can write much more to increase our writing power and last of all combining this rest of the three options means uh, rest, uh, this uh, uh, option, three options we can be a good speaker so the main thing is uh, you can just write how to develop in these four basic skills means how to improve in listening, speaking, reading, writing. Okay, just simply narrating in your own language in four paragraphs regarding reading, writing, hmm, listening or speaking, uh, very shortly writing, uh, you can have two marks. Okay, these are about the tools of communications. If the question is come, you shall write very shortly about these four basic skills, okay? Now, the next question in brief. How we get and use any information? Well, the researchers have tried to show any statistics hmm, about how a person receive uh, a person receives any information in his sense and use them thereafter. Okay, they have tried to show uh, these percentages hmm. that sorry, I needed to zoom in previously. However, we get and use any information in these percentages. The researchers have tried to show. Well, 10% uh, 10 of what we read means we can remember 10% 
by reading, 20% by hearing, 30% by seeing anything or watching anything, 50% by watching anything or hearing anything, watching and hearing that is, seeing and hearing. 70% by watching and discussing and 90% or 100% by doing something practically. Understand? So, by reading 10%, hearing 20%, watching 30%, watching and hearing 50%, 70%, discussing and watching 100% or 90% by doing something practically. Well, narrating only this option in, in the exam, if the question is come, uh, if the question comes, you can have two marks easily. Okay, I'm jumping to the next topic. Now, uh, kinds of communication. Kinds of communication means the classifications. So far as we know, uh, know that there are two kinds of communications. One is verbal and another one is nonverbal. Simply saying, verbal means that kind of communication which needs sound. Understand? Which needs sound. So I'm speaking or I'm reading suppose this is the verbal communication because I'm creating sound and trying to make a sense. Well verbal means the communication which needs sound. And in verbal communication, there are some points like reading, speaking, uh, lecturing, means creating sound and making any sense. That is called the verbal communication. And here, there is the point nonverbal communication. So, nonverbal means not verbal, means not creating any sound. Okay, not creating any sound. That means silently uh, what we make means uh, what uh, the communication which is made silently is called the non-verbal communication. You know in, in the last chapter you will see what are the non-verbal communication but I'm trying to show you just right now. <clears throat> okay let me finish this topic and I will show you instantly letter. However, nonverbal communication means the communication which doesn't need any sound but which will or uh, that will make a sense undoubtedly and nonverbal communication is much more stronger or vigorous in expression. Mm, for example, uh, you are listening, right? you are listening means you are not creating any sound but you are listening okay I'm drawing a picture or I'm writing something or I'm thinking something and you are looking at me and you found me that I'm angry or I'm, I'm, I'm crying okay silently not creating any sound all these things are nonverbal communication Okay, so what you are doing silently and, and the other person is understanding that uh, you are doing that kind of thing without creating any sound, that becomes a non-verbal communication. Understand? Well, applications of communication skills and you will read one after the other when uh, you will be going through this note. Okay, I, I told you about the things related with the verbal and nonverbal communication and I'm jumping to the last page to see the, to, sh uh, to show the examples. Here, here is the example of types of communication. Here I told you the verbal and non-verbal communication. 
generally in verbal communication we find the, this point speaking reading lecturing making dialogues hmm? media like uh, video conference telephoning audio exchanging and conference and so and and so forth on the other hand nonverbal communication uh, keeps going on with these points like uh, writing emailing means also writing gestures or movements means uh, you know gestures means the movements of your body parts body uh, limbs okay silent indicating means you know when you are indicating somebody to enter into the class suppose hmm? indicating through your eye or by your hand to let her or him in the class hmm? picturing means you are showing somebody to any kind of picture and he is silently understanding what is uh, portrayed on the picture hmm? okay signing in means uh, giving your signature hmm? silently thinking means silently you are thinking so many things and other one is understanding that you are thinking so that is a silent process and silence silence means sometimes it is said that not saying anything means that you are agree means suppose some uh, someone is asking you are you agree or do you agree with this proposal and you remain silent and being silent uh, you are giving your consent hmm? your your uh, what should I say um, positive appearance or positive approval that is called so being silent sometimes uh, the people can understand that you are agree so your silence has a language has a meaning to them but that is a silent process on the other hand facial expression facial a facial expression means I will understand whether you are angry or jolly or sarcastic hmm? watching your face hmm? so that is called the facial expression emotional acts well this is an, this is an interesting point emotional acts suppose uh, you wrongly suppose you wrongly addressed somebody or someone as a thief and he be, began angry on you and started saying or started shouting why you have told her or him a thief and he is uh, acting very emotionally hmm? or he has become very angry so easily you will understand about the mental situation of that person so that is called the emotional act that might be silent or silent process and last of all the digital is softer communication hmm. so these are the non-verbal communication that doesn't need any sound to make any sense or make any communication you see hmm, in our childhood we would do the things like this one would speak and another would listen hmm? so it is the verbal communication the boy is speaking it is the verbal communication and the boy is receiving the information this is the this is the nonverbal communication well these are the parts simply has been discussed now I'm going to the back pages which I was on listen uh, listening barriers improvements and tips okay in listening there are some barriers simply you will understand some points uh, after reading these dialogues here given uh, that there might have some barriers in effective listening this is the most important point on this communication skills on the points of communication first of all uh, we may not listen well 
because of some reasons hmm. and those reasons are going to be discussed later so these are the simple discussion simple dialogue and after if you read this dialogue you will understand about some key facts hmm? means important uh, ideas okay why don't we listen well now you will uh, know about the uh, reasons behind not listening well okay a person can't listen well because of some barriers so these are also called the barriers in effective listening and uh, this is very important and in most of the cases or most of the time I said this question in the exam however these are the barriers in effective listening hmm. uh, a person suppose a person is not listening well sitting or being in a right situation there might have some reasons okay first reasons can be uh, in the class suppose in the class hmm, regarding this very first point we can think faster than this then a speaker can talk and jump to conclusions okay it means suppose you are in a classroom and doing the class of your math teacher suppose math teacher he is suppose doing a math on the board and sitting onto the chair as a student you found that that math is very easy to you because you know another way to do that and you know uh, what may be the answer is well while doing that math your uh, while your teacher is doing the math suppose uh, you are telling them the, telling the answer again and again or telling another way again and again means you are creating a barrier in your teachers teaching hmm. so you are telling the answers directly that uh, this math has the answer of 13 or 14 at last or you are telling the result again and again hmm. so you shouldn't tell the uh, result again and again means uh, you shouldn't jump to the conclusion okay I'm giving another example so that you can understand well suppose I'm your English teacher uh, I have started telling the stories of Titanic in the, in, in the class the movie Titanic suppose I'm, I'm describing the things in the class again though you have uh, watched this movie a number of times okay uh, uh, I have started my description or narration but some someone from you is jumping to the conclusion that uh, saying that the hero dies at last sinking onto the icy water okay th this things happen next this things happen next mm. that means you are going to the next or the conclusion again and again during our discussion so uh, a barrier is being created why because I might have a different message for you so you should wait and listen up to the last time because your teacher may have a different uh, idea to tell you different uh, sense to share you so you shouldn't talk in course of talking rather you should wait up to the last time and hear the total message means you shouldn't jump to the conclusion again and again right now I'm jumping to the next point we are distracted distracted and allow our minds to wander means uh, sitting into the class suppose you are thinking something else means you are not in the class you are thinking suppose about an accident you saw while coming 
uh, here into the class mm. or before attending the class so uh, those images are just going on around your senses that that terrible accident happened and you can't forget that okay that might be one of the reasons for what you are not attentive into the class on the other hand there might have some other points like uh, suppose your mother is sick she needs to be taken to the hospital or your baby is sick sick she also needs to be taken to the hospital or you have lots of jobs or lots, lots of tasks in your office hmm? that are needed to be completed within the next two days or three days so lots of pressures are just mounting up in your sense in your brain so for that reason suppose you are thinking all those things sitting into the class and do, and not uh, giving concentration on the lectures of your teacher so that might be the reason one of the reasons or one of the barriers okay next point is you uh, sorry we lose patience and decide we are not interested means losing patience and interest okay sitting into the class uh, you are thinking that uh, your friend is brilliant because he understands what the English teacher is telling or what the English teacher says because he knows uh, good English a mm, uh, good English mm. and he is brilliant because he understands everything he has a great interest in in uh, English means it means thinking like this means you have lost your patience that means you are thinking yourself uh, inferior or lower than the other students or, or than your friend means you are thinking that you are not meritorious he is meritorious hmm. okay that means you have lost your patience and you decided that you are not interested he is interested and you are not interested okay in short when you lose your patience and interest you can't listen well means your brain don't wa uh, doesn't want to listen well so this point uh, is one of the barriers also in making effective listening okay then overreaction to what's said and respond emotionally I said earlier that uh, when a man or person uh, becomes emotionally overreacted hmm, he can't listen well suppose two boys is fighting or two girl is fighting suppose hmm? okay while fighting the other ones are uh, trying to stop them but they're not listening because they are on the anger mood hmm? angry mood hmm? they're the angry angry persons right now and at that situation only one sense will work that how to hit each other or one another hmm? heat and why to heat in that sense because they are in that extreme emotional stages hmm? that means they are reacting over emotionally and they will not listen anything so that is also the barrier in effective listening means being over emotional and the final point may be uh, not final but, and the next point may be <clears throat> so we so far we have discussed uh, about being over emotional means about the, uh, that fighting okay and I, I'm jumping to the next point we interrupt okay while discussing something <clears throat> suppose uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm taking the class hmm, again and again suppose a renowned personality or a police officer came into the class and started in to make an inquiry about how is everything going on 
okay and he started giving his lecture into the class while I'm taking the class or giving my lecture so he suppose has taken uh, 15 minutes or half an hour to deliver his, his lecture okay that may be the direct interruption mm. that may be the direct interruption so let's recap the points again uh, about the barriers of effective listening of course there are some other points uh, later I have to discuss the other points are hmm, when uh, the next point is when uh, we don't verify anything means uh, we have to verify something verify means like that uh, are you trying to say like that if I understand correctly you said means justifying your answer or understanding about what is told next asking question in course of listening or in course of understanding uh, something okay asking question will revive you will help you be into the uh, lecture or into the action means from the beginning you have been listening and listening and listening means you are being tired so in that case you have to ask some questions sometimes to make yourself revive or alive means vigorous okay to be a better listener so justifying your answer of course or understanding and asking the question sometimes acknowledgement acknowledgement means uh, <clears throat> acknowledgement means giving your uh, consents means uh, giving your ideas that you have understood means making the uh, lecturer or your teacher understand understood that you have understood acknowledgement okay means uh, giving some positive feedback that is called look at the speaker and not occasionally say hmm oh right okay in acknowledgement you can utter some sounds like hmm oh really right exactly and some others so these are called the acknowledgement means uh, informing your instructor that you have understood over some issues that is called the acknowledgement hmm then finally which is very very important in making a good uh, in being a good listener that is maintaining silence silence is a must everywhere to be a good listener and very effective listener so again this is as this is a very important question we need to uh, review this again okay these are the barriers in effective listening means uh, you can think faster and jump to the conclusion hmm? uh, you are just distracted and allow your minds to wander outside means go outside I told you because of some reasons your mind just remains or go, uh, goes outside you just lose, lose your patience and interest means you think the other one is best not you are being over reacted or emotionally means fighting I gave you an example about fighting means staying on the emotional stage okay when direct interruption comes means when uh, somebody in makes any direct interruption that is called the uh, interruptions or direct barrier mm. And if you don't maintain or uh, uh, sorry justify your answer or verify your answer that can also be the reason of not listening well or you, if you don't make any question that that might be another point of not listening well acknowledgement means you are not giving any feedback uh, feedback or response or any acknowledgement like uh, using like uh, using the words like this hmm, oh right really okay wow these are the things okay finally main maintaining silence hmm. Okay, these are the very important points that are very much essential to remember and you must uh, 
remember so far as I understood and as I hope finally uh, there is another point given here that is the encouragement okay encouragement you know to uh, help somebody do something hmm, to suggest somebody to do something okay this is another point of not listening well if uh, means you are not in, in giving encouragement to the audience and they will not be interested and they might be uh, a bad listener or normal listener so you should give the encouragement while giving your lectures or understanding anything or listening anything however jump to the next question hmm. speaking skills uh, what to say and how to say so these are uh, something about how to say something okay and if you read the things uh, clearly in your home you will understand and it's very easy and not that much important but uh, everything is important to know hmm? that will help you understand better so here you will find some instructions about how to speak well or how to say something well maintaining any situation or any temperament or any behavior okay now I'm jumping to the next point that is gender neutral language you know gender means class gender means class means female or male neutral means uh, neutral means uh, one okay single and language means you know the way of conveying your message hmm. so gender neutral language means female or male class neutral is saying something or language that means the verbal communication and language may be a nonverbal also while writing okay I'll not uh, discuss about this much more but uh, give you a very simple answer that is man is curious uh, cu curious a creature man is a curious creature sorry man is a curious creature on the other hand if I say hmm, if I say suppose I'm writing uh, man is mortal hmm? okay here we are telling that man is mortal we are telling this sentence using the uh, gender what gender it's a masculine gender gender hmm? masculine gender but here the word man is a common gender why <coughs> because it is indicating both of the classes right both of the classes so here this is the uh, common gender means indicating both of the classes male and female so this is speech or this sentence has become the gender neutral language understand it has become the gender neutral language because this speech has been told individually saying about the class so this kind of sentences or expressions will be called the gender neut neutral language for example there are other uh, what should I say there are other words uh, like this like poetry poets teachers drivers presidents ministers hmm? uh, and some others like that so th these will be the common genders means gender neutral language okay if you don't understand or if you don't have a proper idea you can search again on internet uh, to have much more knowledge on this okay let's jump to the next questions because we have to finish as soon as possible 
conflict, criticism, anger, negotiation, persuasion, mediation. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, conflict, criticism, anger. Negotiation, uh, sorry, uh, resolve the conflict, how to overcome obstacles. Okay, negotiation, persuasion, and mediation. Okay, suppose, <clears throat> um, suppose you are going to marry a girl. Hmm? That's an interesting part of this discussion, I believe. Uh, okay, uh, suppose you are going to um, marry a girl, hmm, as soon as possible, but you have no job. On the other hand, uh, both of you have been aged or adult enough to get married. Well. Suppose uh, uh, the things are not going easily between you, uh, you two. Uh, suppose you have organized a meeting and there the girl is telling to you that so many good relationships or proposals are coming in. Hmm? That means uh, her parents uh, are emphasizing on getting her married as soon as possible hmm. or, or giving giving her marriage uh, as soon as possible but the boy has nothing to say suppose you have nothing to say because you have no job you are an unemployed person hmm. so things are getting complicated as much as time is passing created between you and that girl hmm? regarding the issues or the points like I told you okay the conflict has begun hmm? the girl suppose is telling I know what kind of boy you were hmm? you are not giving much importance on this issue though I have told you a number of times okay now suppose the girl has started criticizing that boy hmm? saying what saying suppose I know what kind of boy you are you are in a good relationship with me for the last four years or five years but you have given or uh, given this status on Facebook as single <laughs> Inter interestingly as single what kind of boy you are I know suppose the girl is criticizing that boy in this way well mm, on the other hand the boy has started the criticism to the girl again suppose in, in return of her criticism saying like I know what kind of girl you were whenever I phone you in the deep in the night I find you busy <laughs> I find you busy and you reply to me that you are talking to your you are talking to your uncle living in America so many funny things actually so the criticisms are going on like this suppose hmm? and being conflicted being criticized to each other hmm? suppose they have been very angry so anger has created what in the next anger has created okay anger means well our relation uh, suppose they are telling to each other that their relationships uh, can't go like that hmm? time is passing and we uh, they need to be departed in their own ways because a relationship can't go like this suppose hmm? that means they have decided not to meet each other not to see each other again and be uh, has decided to be departed from each other hmm? forever suppose forever hmm? well primarily suppose the conflict has been created regarding some issues very vital issues and then out of anger they have started criticizing each other 
and finally being angry they have decided to be departed okay that is the primary point okay suppose to risk to the decision to get married okay to risk to the decision to get married means uh, it is a good it is it is it will be a good communication hmm, if they can risk to the point of getting married at last Okay, I'm jumping to the next three short notes or short questions or points like this. That is conflict, criticism, anger. And in, in here, uh, you will get the ideas in which way I'm just telling. Hmm? But here in this note, that kind of uh, study has been included but in their own ways. Hmm? That might not be understandable to you. So I'm telling you in my own language, mm. in my own language, so that you understand the fact actually. Okay, the next three points of uh, making a communication, mm. the negotiation, persuasion and mediation. Negotiation means, what? Negotiation means being agreed on some issues that uh, well uh, these are not right that is not right and we should not do this thing we should do this thing hmm. okay I was talking about that couple suppose they have been departed for two weeks or three weeks but you know that is a true relationship Hmm? A true relationship can't break away. And again, suppose they are thinking to be united again and have some words hmm? to share some views. Hmm? So suppose they have come to each other again and started negotiating something. Started what? Negotiating something. Means they are uh, being agreed on different or several issues regarding their life regarding how to reach to the decision to get married okay that is called the negotiation means being agreed on some decisions on some uh, activities however persuasion persuasion means uh, going through the way means going to take some action persuasion means starting taking some actions hmm? for example uh, after uh, being negotiated over some issues that couple is telling to each other okay you just uh, manage your own family and I'm just managing my family though both of the families are unwilling to get ourselves married uh, okay that is called the persuasion means starting taking the decision and going through some ways hmm, that is called the persuasion and a mediation suppose all the negotiations have done persuasions have been uh, utilized or realized suppose in the day of marriage another problem has been created regarding the uh, bride prize or groom uh, prizes hmm? means means the money money matter problem as this matter has been uh, what as this matter has been uh, set up between the two families now so the problems are rising again and again so suppose at last there might have a problem re regarding the financial matters that the bride, uh, the family of the bride, uh, sorry, uh, bride, yes, is demanding too much money from the groom, hmm? from the boy, and that has created a uh, created an, another problem. See, in that time, as a third person, there comes a mediator. Means, uh, suppose the chairman or the or the leading person or any political persons or, or any very honorable person of that village come in between these two families to solve this 
this issue that is called the mediation means moderator mediate mediating some things means going in between two means the third person third media that is called the media mediation and after that suppose the marriage between that uh, boy and the girl has happened hmm? so this is a process from the beginning from the beginning hmm? what after after uh, after this mediation hmm, we got the point that this is the last point hmm, to reach any decision to and making any decision means making a good communication so what was the previous points hmm? and this this points might be said in the exam as short notes okay conflict criticism anger hmm? conflict criticism anger negotiation persuasion and mediation to make a good communication so I told you the story in my own language you can write in your own language also hmm? and if this six short notes comes into the questions you, you can just write all those six to get two marks no problem you have to write in your own language but try to write in good sentences and within the very short time well this is the process or method of reaching to a decision hmm? for that reason these are the method of communication well uh, I think there is no other uh, points important points because I have to told about this rest of the things earlier you saw hmm? verbal and nonverbal communication and to know more to know more read much more hmm? okay read much more so thank you very much for being with me so far and I think I have been able to show you the points on communication skills hmm? and I, I think you have been benefited from you will be benefited from this lecture and if you have anything to know even after this directly you can just contact me through Facebook or messenger or Google classroom or zoom in any media or simply giving and uh, giving a message in my cell phone number hmm? however please take care of you and uh, stay safe and sound of course pray for all of us thank you very much for being with me more will be at the next time Allah Hafiz